I'm Megan Wilson. I'm a board certified family medicine physician. I'm also the clinical director at the Otmulgee Indian Health Center here in Otmulgee. And I'm uh, starting up our prenatal care program here in Otmulgee as well. Our, our health and our wellness starts with birth and really before birth with pregnancy. So when we see that infant mortality is increased and the Creek Nation is actually almost double what uh, citizens in this area um, see as well. So that's really concerning. Um, but when you see that, that means that overall health is, is also waning in that, in that population. So very concerning just from the infant standpoint and it's also concerning for long-term health. Um, when we saw that, you know, first thing was how do we how do we mitigate that problem and help improve our health overall with all of our citizens and, and you know we start with pregnancy. We start before our citizens are even born. Um, we had talked for a long time about starting a prenatal care program within Creek Nation and then that study kind of really um, spurred it to go forward quickly. Um, since then we have really jump started and um, have started taking patients as far back as October um, for our prenatal care services and we're seeing a huge boom in, in our patient care and um, how many patients we're seeing for that and, and all of those kinds of things. Right now I'm the only provider who's providing prenatal care services within the Creek Nation system. We're hoping to expand that as we get um, the word out and as we get more patients um, within the system. We've bought uh, specialized equipment to help um, educate patients as well as take care of them during uh, their pregnancy. Um, we have ultrasound services that are within the clinic now so I can do ultrasounds on every prenatal visit which is extremely helpful. Um, it helps with education, it helps um, check on baby, it kind of does multiple different things. Um, we've also set up agreements with um, Hillcrest for delivery services. We have uh, the ability to conference with maternal fetal medicine specialists, so for high-risk patients we have a large diabetic population within our community um, and that affects pregnancy as well, so we have really good communication that's been set up with them. So we really are um, attacking this from every angle that we can to improve our, improve our health of our pregnant patients. Historically, prenatal care started with obstetricians and family physicians. And we saw patients from the time they got pregnant, usually before they got pregnant, um, and through their pregnancy, and then we would deliver their babies. Things have changed in the last probably 10 years as far as malpractice coverage and, and um, coverage for delivery services. So a lot of rural hospitals just don't have the abilities to do deliveries anymore. Omulgi Hospital is unfortunately one of those hospitals. We did have a labor and delivery service um, open about 15 years ago. Um, and just due to changes in, in the times that has gone to the wayside. So as of now, Oatmulgee is not available for, de for delivery. Um, that's why it's super important that we have really good relationships with our hospitals in Tulsa so that we can have really good care and um, kind of seamless coverage for our patients uh, that are delivering. Rural physicians in the past have been family medicine doctors. Um, it's specialists were more localized into the suburban area or the urban areas and suburban areas were more family medicine. Um, as times have changed and malpractice coverage has changed, unfortunately the legal system has affected a lot of how we take care of patients. Um, we still have a huge uh, population of family medicine doctors that are in rural, rural places, but they aren't taking care of, of pregnant patients anymore. So that has led to a, a um, drought of medical services in rural populations. So that really affects infant mortality too. When you can't give appropriate care for prenatal patients, for pregnant patients, for, for preconceptive counseling, talking to patients about what they need to be on as far as prenatal vitamins before they get pregnant, um, all of those things really over time affect our overall health because we end up having um, unhealthy babies and unhealthy mamas and unhealthy families. 
you know, I would love to expand. I would love to have more specialists. I would love to have maternal fetal medicine and high risk specialists that maybe came down and visited um, our facilities here. I would love to have delivery services closer to home for these patients. It's really difficult for them to get to Tulsa or to Oklahoma City for delivery, and those are really the closest places. Um, so I think if we, the, the more we expand and the more patients that we're able to take care of, the better we're gonna be off in the next 30 years even. You know, if we, if we help mamas be better, healthier, take care of their families, um, understand the, the components of a healthy lifestyle, and we start that when they're in their 20s, when they're first getting pregnant, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna have a trickle down effect that I think is really gonna change the health of our citizens for the long term. You know, I just want to make sure people know the services that we offer and um, and that they really come out and, and listen to what we have to say and, and, you know, take their health in their hands and let us help them.